Good morning, third graders. Today we're going to talk about what happens when we're asked to round to the nearest 10 or the nearest 100. So we're not always going to be rounding to the same place. We're going to do this with three and four digit numbers. We're going to follow the same steps we've been using all week. Let's jump right in. Round 793 to the nearest 10 and round 793 to the nearest 100. Well, for each one of these, I'm going to draw separate number lines because I'm looking at different places. The first problem asks me to round to the nearest 10. When I look at 793, I see a 9 in the tens place. So my smaller 10 is 790 and my larger 10 is 800. I can fill in a number line for the numbers between 790 and 800. This time, since I'm looking for the nearest 10, I'm going to count by ones on my number line. I can see that 793 is not quite to the midpoint, it's much closer to 790. So when I round 793 to the nearest 10, I get 790. The next example asks me to round 793 to the nearest 100. Here, I'm going to be looking at the digit in the hundreds place. There are seven hundreds, so this number falls between 700 and 800 on the number line. I'm going to fill in my number line. This time, since I'm looking for the nearest hundreds, I'm going to count by tens. I filled in my number line. I know 793 comes past 790 on my number line. I can see that it's past the midpoint of 750, and it's much closer to 800. When I round 793 to the nearest 100, I get 800. So it's very important for me to see which place am I rounding to. Let's look at another example. This may seem daunting because it's a four-digit number, but we're still going to follow the same steps. Round 2,374 to the nearest 10. I'm going to look for the digit in the tens place, the 7. And that tells me that the two tens this number falls between are 2,370 and 2,380. I can fill in my number line accordingly. I've counted by ones because I'm rounding to the nearest 10. I can plot the point 2,374. That's four spaces away from the smaller 10 and six from the larger. It's closer to 2,370. When I round 2,374 to the nearest 10, I get 2,370. Now let's round it to the nearest 100. Again, I'm going to look at the hundreds place, and that tells me that my number falls between 2,000s and 300s. and 2,400. I'm going to count by tens because I'm rounding to the nearest hundred. I've filled in my number line. I know that 2,374 is just past 2,370 on my number line. The midpoint is 2,350. 2,374 is closer to 2,400. That's what the 7 in the tens place tells me. So when I round to the nearest 100, I round to 2,400. So remember, look very closely at what place you are being asked to round to.